I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use compound nodes in the node editor of the color page to help organize the corrections that you're making and to position you for being able to save grades more effectively for reuse in other shots. So in this particular clip, I have just a very ordinary grade in node one, and then nodes two, four, and this layer node are creating this kind of hard bleach bypassy effect. So having built this effect, maybe the client said, I really like that and I wanna use that on other shots. I go, okay, so I want to save this for future use. One way I can do this and not end up with a timeline that is filled with tons of nodes is by using compound nodes. So if I hold the command key down and select nodes two, four, and the layer node, important, you wanna make sure that you always select the layer nodes if you've got them. Now I can right click any of those nodes and choose create compound node. And with this created, I can right click it and change its label. I'm gonna call this bleach. So now instead of having all those other nodes taking up room, I simply have this one bleach node. It's got two inputs corresponding to those two nodes that are being connected on the inside. And I can either right click this and choose show compound node to look at its contents, or I can go back out. Down here I have this breadcrumb control. And I can hold the command key down and double click to just quickly jump right into see the contents of those nodes. Now maybe I wanna reorganize this a little bit to make it easier to use in the future. So I'm just gonna move these over And I'm gonna select this node and choose nodes add serial before current. So I'm adding a new node here and I'm gonna actually delete this previous connection and connect this to that. So now instead of needing two inputs to create this effect, I only need the one input. And having done that, I can go back out and easily disconnect that input. With it disconnected, I can command double click to go back in, choose remove source to simplify this node by removing that source. And now if I go back out, I just have this one node that creates the entire effect with one input and one output. But I mentioned I wanted to save this for future use. So what I'm gonna do is select node one, delete it, don't worry, I'm gonna get it back later on, but I'm gonna right click this and choose grab still before pressing command Z to undo the deletion of that node. So now I've got this still, if I right click it and choose display node graph, you can see it consists just of this bleach node. It's the only thing that's there. So now, if I go to this clip and decide that I want to apply the same effect, all I need to do is drag this gallery still to the end of my node tree, and there's my bleach node effect. Really simple to do, and again, if I show this compound node, you can see all of its contents, and I can finesse it if I want, or if I decide I want to decompose this compound node back into its constituent parts, I can right click it and choose decompose compound node. And now what I end up with is a bit of a mess, but you can see that I have all of my individual nodes available for further work. I hope you found this useful. For more information on grading in DaVinci Resolve, I strongly recommend you check out my grading in DaVinci Resolve titles from Ripple Training. I'm Alexis Van Herkman. Thanks for watching.